Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my March faves and fails. Let's just get into it. Okay, so my number one fave was definitely the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and this is in Honey. This is just a little sample pot. I believe I did a review on this probably about a month and a bit ago if i remember correctly but this has been the foundation that i've been reaching for on a daily basis i've been wanting that full on beat like today i'm wearing my l'oreal infallible foundation because i just want to jump on here and just quickly do this video and this is definitely still one of my faves i think this was like the fave of february but definitely this is the fave of march if you want a full coverage foundation not showing any of your blemishes definitely pick up the clinic beyond perfecting foundation i've been going for it almost every single day and i'm able to use this one on top of it as well just for any areas that i just want to give that little extra coverage this is definitely something that i use on top next is the nars pure sheer lip treatment with spf in it this is what the product looks like it's literally just like a lip balm and since i've got my lip fillers done i have been putting this on especially during the period where everything was still healing this is what i used this was the balm that i used so it would help my my lips to heal like all of the little entry wounds whatever this was what i was using i got this in a subscription box i can't remember what the name of it is called but i decided to get this out as soon as i had my lips done and this has really been helping me out something different i absolutely love it next is the lush bubble gum lip scrub this is a new container full of lip scrub i absolutely love this it smells so good and it's like literally i can just eat it oh it's so beautiful i use this obviously for my lips but i also use it all over the face so if you ever feel like your skin just needs that extra exfoliation definitely use this with like a cleanser and put a dollop of this in the middle of your hand rub it all together and you know go at your face with it I will probably do that on camera one day so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about because I'm sure that there's some people thinking using a lip scrub over your face like what are you talking about so I will definitely show you how I make my face scrub using the Lush Bubblegum Lip Scrub. Next is my Body Shop Mango Body Butter. Oh my gosh. Body Shop Body Butters are the lick, okay? They are the ting. I don't care what nobody says. I've had this one and I've had the coconut one before. The coconut one, that's like my fave. And then my cousin got me this for Christmas because she watches my videos. She knows that I'm always washing my hands and then needing to cream my hands. And you know when somebody actually gives you something that you're going to get use out of? This is definitely one of those useful presents. And I was like, yes, thank you girl. Thank you girl. Thank you. <laughs> so I've been loving this. It's constantly in my bag. I'm using it throughout the day on my hands. It's beautiful. Oh, if you can get a hold of this, like just go into any body shop and just, just smell it. Just smell it and just feel the texture of it on your hat. Oh my God, it just melts into your skin. Mm. And I have one fail of the month and that is the Collection Fast Stroke Eyeliner in white. I usually use this eyeliner in black and I decided that I wanted to pick up the white one because I wanted to do some like neon looking eyeshadow art which I haven't yet done but I decided one day that I was going to pick up the white eyeliner and I was just going to try it out just to see how how it looks and I feel like it's not very opaque you can still kind of see under you can still see what is underneath the eyeliner so if i was to put this on instead of my black liner you'd still be able to see like my pink eyeshadow and the black eyeshadow underneath this liner and even if you go in over it it kind of skips certain areas of a little bit more full coverage than other areas it it just drags it pulls and i really wanted to like this i am still going to use it for when i do the neon looking eyeshadow which will hopefully come within the next couple of weeks i just have to find some time to actually shoot the video but if you were just looking to have a white eyeliner and to just put it on 
like you do with regular black eyeliner and go you may find that this is not the best one to go for the thing is they have a, a black waterproof version of this eyeliner which i can't stand because it tends to break up in the corners the only one that i like out of all of these is just the regular black one but it just seems like if it's not the regular black one if it's the waterproof one if it's the white one the formula is not the same it does not perform the exact same and that is such a bummer it really does it, it bugs me but you know what it is what it is you live when you learn this was probably only about three or four pounds if i remember correctly i wasn't breaking the bank with this eyeliner i mean come on but it was just a little bit disappointing so those are all my faves and fails for the month of march and now in april which is my birthday month oh my god so if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next one